Good morning, friends. It is tomato time at my house, and I want to thank my friend Nancy for blessing me with these beautiful Romas. I don't know if they are a special variety of Roma, but I've eaten a couple of them, and they are just so good, just so full of that wonderful tomato flavor that we look for all year long. So, um, this is about half. I've washed these. There are more to come lots more to come and <clears throat> at this point I'm going to uh, trim them and cut them up into rough chunks and from there I'll put them in my food processor and just give them a couple of whirls not to make a fine puree but other than trying to get as many of the seeds out as I can I don't take the skin off um, because the uh, processing just minces it so finely you don't even notice it and then from there I will be putting the sauce into a couple of pots and to simmer for a while. I thought about what I wanted to do, should I make a, a flavored sauce and that, but I'm just going to keep it plain. I'm just going to keep it with the tomatoes and um, the lemon juice. That way it will be ready and uh, available for any way that I want to season it when it comes time to cook it. So here we go. Well folks, here we go and I hope I'm doing it right. I've got the tomatoes very hot. I just uh, cut them, seeded them, crushed them in the food processor, and I've got a smaller pot back there. I've got the rings that were washed and hot. Here are the lids ready. Here's hot water in the canner. Here are my tools. Lots of jars. I just took them out of the oven. They're nice and hot. Here's lemon juice to add to the sauce, and then vinegar to wipe the rims. Here is a funnel. The only thing I don't have is one of those magnetic lift uh, lid lifters. I keep looking for it because I have all the other tools and I don't want duplicates. So, all right, here we go. <laughs> well, I am so happy for what got accomplished today and I just wanted to show you. Um, there are 13 jars. Some of them are the 12 ounce size jelly jars and then the other ones are regular pint jars. Uh, I process them in boiling water uh, for 35 minutes, probably closer to 40 minutes. I don't think it hurts any. Excuse my sink. Uh, the stuff is clean. I'm just tired now and I'm going to wait until later to put it away. But I'm just so happy with this. I haven't canned tomatoes for years. I did do some dried beans and peas earlier this year. Uh, but this is such a, such a lot of fun to do and it's so satisfying. So, okay guys, have a great evening and I'll see you soon. It is about 5 after 4 in the afternoon, and I got a lot done today, guys. I am so happy and so thankful to God for giving me the strength today. It's just been delightful. I went through almost a half a bushel of tomatoes. I'm not going to show you the other side of the kitchen right now. I'll show you the jars when I get them all assembled. But this is my second batch, steaming like crazy, waiting for me to bring it out. Uh, let me see, there's three six jars, pint jars in there. This is a bowl of my supper. I made some fresh tomato soup with all kinds of herbs and seasonings and a little bit of uh, flavoring, chicken flavoring, um, croutons, Parmesan cheese, and some parsley. And I can't wait to eat it. I'm going to put a little bit of butter on there too, just a little knob of butter. And there's lots more for the next day or two. So all in all, I've got 13 of those tomatoes left, and they'll be good. I don't know, I was thinking about trying to make some jam with them. But they're so fresh and so good, they might just be, you know, for eating out of hand. But anyway, that's what got done today, and I'm just as happy as can be. <laughs>